Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to find duplicates in Google Sheets. One in the one column list and another one in a multi-column list. And I'll show you how to do both in terms of finding duplicates. And closer to the end, if your end goal is just to find duplicates and delete them right away, I'll show you a quick way to do that in Google Sheets. So let's get right to it. So here we have a one column list. I'm purposely made it short, so it just makes it easier to show the example. You may have a longer list, maybe it's hundreds of rows or thousands of rows, but it's fairly easy to, to do this. And I'll show you two ways that you can do this. Now, the first way you want maybe is to do a running count, right? You want to do a running count and see when it shows up first. And we're going to do a running count with a function called count if. So I'll use count if, select on that. In the count if function, what we want to do is we want to specify, let me bring up the uh, description here. We want to count our range based on some criteria, right? Close this. And so our range is going to be this range. It's going to start out with that range. And I need to put dollar signs in front of the A and the 2, press the F4 key, and what it's going to do, it's going to lock that in. Press colon. And then we also want to have our range from starting at A2, and we're going to temporarily end it at A2 and put the dollar sign just in front of the two in case we ever change this. That will lock in for that column. And what is our criteria? We want to count when, in this range, when 2012 shows up first. So that's also in cell A2. We don't need to put any dollar signs in front of that. Press enter. It's going to count it once because what happened is we're looking at that range to that range and we only see it once. So let me copy this down about four cells. And you can see the first time it increments a count is when it gets to number two. And you look at the formula, it says A2, that didn't change, but A5, that moved to the fifth cell here or the fifth row here. And it's also referencing A5. So it's looking at A5, which is 2006 in this range from 2012, 2007, 2006, 2006. And that's where it counted it again. So it counted it twice. It's the second instance of it. So that's the running count. All I need to do is double click it to bring it down. That will copy the formula down and you can see where our duplicates start to happen. Over here, over here, over here, you see 2006 show up again. So that's our running count. Now, if we want to do a total count and just off the bat count when a first instance of that number had a duplicate, there's another way to do that. So I'll just call this total count. And that's going to be very similar to this formula, but we're going to use the count if function too. So it's going to be count if, open tab to open parentheses. We want to have that cell, press F4 to lock that cell in, colon, and all we need to do is just type in the dollar sign in A. We want to reference the whole column. So it's going to count that whole column from A2, but the whole column, comma, and then we want to reference that cell. That's our criteria, A2. Close parentheses, press enter. So Google Sheets was smart enough to figure out that we want to copy the formula down. Let's make sure that it is doing the right thing. Click on show formula and it's copied the formula down. I think this is fine. Click on the check marks and we can double check just to look again and we see that our formula has been copied down, right? So there's three instances of 2007, that's the first one, two, and three, and it's copied that down. So that's total count. Now, if we didn't want to do this with formulas, we can actually put this into a pivot table and have it count for us. So all I need to do is select that range, and I can go under data and select pivot table. Oops, where did it go? To pivot table. And let's put this into the existing sheet. I'll put it right here. F2, click OK, click Create. And for our rows, we'll just add the year. And for the values, that's where we're going to put in the count. We're going to put in the count of the year. And that's going to be count A. And we can actually have used count or count A because in this instance, what count, the difference between those two is just count A counts everything. Count A counts the numeric values and count A counts everything. But in this case, it doesn't matter. Press escape to get out of that. We have our count here. And if we wanted to sort this, we just click anywhere in the pivot table 
and we will sort by descending and let's sort by the count of the year and we can see which particular values have our duplicates 2007 2006 2004 2009 and 2001 so that's how we can do a duplicate if we had a single list here now if we had a multi-column list like we had year and month and maybe even more but for simplicity i'll just put two columns what we can do is we can concatenate this and we can use the concat function type in equal concatenate we're going to concatenate multiple values and we're going to select control this value and that value press enter and it's going to concatenate it and we have our autofill and i don't need to join it with any delimiters i just join it together click on the check mark and what we can do here is we can do the same thing we did earlier x this out is we can do a running count running count and that's going to be that same formula that we had earlier with the count if press tab a note this is going to be c2 press the f4 key colon colon and then dollar sign c2 which is that going to be that first cell and then c2 which we're going to reference that criteria there and we have our auto for here that's fine and we have our running count, the same thing we did earlier, but we just concatenate it to find our duplicate. So the first time a duplicate shows up is here, January 2000, which also shows up here. That third time it shows up there, right? So the first, second, and then third. And we can do the same thing with our total count. We can just do the same formula that we had before with the count ifs. Press tab to open that parentheses. We're gonna count that value Press the F4 key to put the dollar signs in front, colon, uh, C2, or just column C now. And then we're going to look at C2. Press Enter. We have autofill here. Yes, that's fine. And it's going to count that one. That gets counted four times, right? So there's four instances of 2000 January. One, and then two, and then three, and then four, right? So it's counted it four times. And of course, we can put this into a pivot table. Now I can select the whole thing here makes it a little bit easier later on and go into data go to pivot table let's put it over in the existing sheet here in H click OK and click create and we're gonna have our rows let's put in year and then also add the month right And for our value fields, we're going to do the concat field. So we're going to count that, right? So we're going to count how many times this shows up for that year, that month, and that's four times, right? So that's basically that count. And that's what it's doing. Now, if we wanted to further make this a little bit easier to view, what we can do is have these repeat. So we're going to click on that to have that repeat. And maybe we want to sort that. We want to see for each year which months are the duplicate counters. So what we can do is do that ascending by year and then month we're going to have that descending by the count so let's close this so we see in the year 2000 january is the one that had duplicates only in the year 2001 we had september january and april and in february and 2002 we didn't have any right so that gives us a count of the duplicates here using the pivot table now, if our goal was just to get rid of duplicates, we didn't care about finding them and didn't doing further analysis. What we can do is just use the delete duplicates function in Google Sheets. Select that Control C to copy. And if I go to sheet three here, I'll just paste it. And we can just do a Control V to paste. And all I need to do here is go under data and then the special function here, which has removed duplicates. And it's going to ask us, uh, what our header do we have a header row yes we do have a header row so don't don't duplicate don't delete that and which columns to analyze a and b here remove duplicates and it's removed all the duplicates so you notice that january 2000 it's the only instance here now so if your end goal was just to you didn't care about analyzing finding where the duplicates are and just analyzing what they are you just wanted to get rid of them there is that option here for you to choose just to remove those duplicates so there you go. There's how you can find duplicates in Google Sheets and a quick way to just delete them. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.